Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your second contest here tonight. This one will be three three-minute rounds of amateur mixed martial arts. The first of your two fighters, would you welcome, fighting out of the red corner, it's Chris Gunn! his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, Arthur Gansivikas. So the action continues here at Uprising. It is great to be with you for the folks just joining us. I'm Chris Hookstra, alongside Dean Minhat. We are coming at you live from Hastings, East Sussex. And what a great night so far, Dean. We've had really something for everyone. And I think already the uh, look of the eyes, if you will, of both opponents here, Chris Gunn out of the red corner and Arthur Gansivikas out of the blue. Gansivikas rocking those Adidas shorts. Phantom Trunks with good Andy work there from Chris Gunn into the double underhooks. Gunn was looking for the overhand right there, but I like the way he initiated the clinch and he didn't give up with the hands. Now he separates, looking for the, the body kicks there. Gensi Vicious needs to make sure his hands are up high to his head, Chris. Yeah, Gensi Vicious is uh, not really minding the defensive posture that I think would benefit him. But it's been good inside work courtesy of Gunn so far. Gansy Vickers looking for the guillotine, but Gunn sensed that, popped his head out of that position. I'd like to see more volume of strikes from Arthur. So the pace is settled at this point. Nice check there from Chris Gunn. And you can see a very interesting stylistic contrast. On one hand, Gansy Vickers is looking for hands. On the other, Gunn actually leading with single kicks there into the clinch. Gansi Vickers was looking for a hip toss there, but Gunn did a great job of sinking his hips lower than his opponents, and now he's using the cage as balance. Excellent takedown defense from Chris Gunn. Gansi Vickers looking to work the jab, but he needs to throw combinations, Chris. Work the right hand after the jab. Look for the uppercuts as Gunn comes in. Nice lead technique there, courtesy of Gansi Vickers. It seems both fighters here very cerebral. And that says to me, Chris, that they're looking for that fight finishing shot. Solid lead right hand from Chris Gunn there. Followed up with a left straight. Kind of in reverse order. Usually you see a 1 2. In that case, it was 2 1. Gunn, double underhooks. Can he get something here? Arthur Gansi Vickers holding on. Double overhooks, up against the wire, right in front of the commentary position, Dean. Oh, that's a big left hand there in the separation from Arthur. And you could tell that hurt Gunn because he comes steaming forward. Ten second clapper is gone. Not much time to go here in the round. And it will be the end of the first frame here momentarily. Coming to you live from Hastings. This is the uprising low blow. Unfortunate turn of events there. And they'll have up to five minutes to recover, actually. So the clock paused. Chris Gunn now sent to the neutral corner. Arthur Gansivikas will be given a warning. You know, it's those situations, Dean, when you're in the clinch, you're operating by feel 
You're operating by your training. You've had a good understanding of where you've got to be, but not necessarily having that vision when you're tied up close. Those knees can happen when you're attacking the inside leg. They can in DB. You have to make sure they're clean. You have to actually separate just a flying knee from actually where you want to land it on a target, whether it be the inside leg, the sternum, or indeed the head. You can't just throw it out there in space and expect it to land. Be very careful because if you continue this behavior, because you could actually get a point deducted, which would be detriment in the end if it goes to the judges. So up to five minutes here given. All clear, says Chris Gunn, after an offsides play. A low blow there. Nice check again from Gunn. He's done that several times. You can see Gansy Vick is backing off there. Defensive skills are important. Gansy Vick is there putting his hands up on almost kind of a reaching out sort of guard. He has to be very careful about doing that, but now he finds himself with a sweep and full mount of position, Chris. Jancy Vickers fishing for the finish here. Full mount, not much time to go. Jancy Vickers very heavy with the hips here. Guns turning away, the referee's looking on, Chris. He's Nearing the end of the round, Daniel Obakiti looking very careful, carefully at the action. Jancy Vickers doing great there to push down, control the posture and down came those punches. What a fight so far tonight in Hastings. So round two of a scheduled three here at Uprising. The action continues, three more minutes on the clock, Dean. Touch of gloves and we see Gunn utilizing the jab to close that distance. Interesting that he initiated the clink. We might clinch and we might see the same takedown or the, indeed a sweep from Gansey Vickers. But Chris Gunn has an excellent takedown defense. He does a great job of keeping his hips very, very low. Sinks his butt nice and deep down and doesn't enable Arthur, Gansy Vickers, to get underneath him and throw him. Gansy Vickers looking for the leg sweep. Oh, and he gets it. Let's see now if he can land up on top. Taking the mount position again, Chris. Looking to go to the body here. Well, it's been another successful top control point for Gansy Vickers. Really, Dean, almost in that low mount, but pressuring his opponent up against the wire. Short punches, nothing fight ending, but over time, that could accumulate, and that's it. That was the enough to break the camel's back. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. Dean, we were looking at Daniel Mobahidi's decision making there on the fly. He's not just looking at the end of when he waves things off. He's making an assessment over time. That's a great stoppage, and it will go down as a W for Arthur Gansey Vickers. Yeah, Gansey Vickers weathered the storm early on, kept his hands nice and high, got into the clinch, fell out his opponent in Chris Gunn, and then decided when he took the takedown, he used his hips, he used the leg lift there. It was almost kind of like an outside Horagoshi with an Uchimata stuck in there. I'm sure that he's been practicing his judo in the gym, and that was the key here, the takedown and the full mat position to get the win from Arthur Gansey Vickers. Ladies and gentlemen, before we give the announcement, would you please make some noise? Chris Gunn and Arthur Gansey Vickers. What a great fight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after two rounds of back and forth action here in mixed martial arts, referee in charge, Daniel Movahidi has waved off this contest, declaring your winner via TKO out of the blue corner. Arthur can't see the cast. One more time for Chris Gunn. That was a great back and forth bout. My name's Dizzy Ross, I'm the entertain. I put a hot head.